Whoa, me on camera. How rare is that? What's going on guys? Happy New Year. Happy 2024. My mom's a whore. And normally I do these little year, start of the year, breakdowns, reviews. I don't even know what you call this. Uh, a session where I just ramble on for like 10 to 20 minutes. But this year I'm just going to take a Q&A so my ramblings actually have some sort of structure. So, you know, let's just jump right into it and let's just jump right into this question that was asked by two people, pretty much. And this one is essentially just saying, we'd love to see more content. Could you upload more frequently? I like your style and humor. Thank you, Kakarot and Settler6648. I'm not gonna read all the names. I should have it on the screen if I'm not too lazy to edit. Um, but to answer your question, where the hell am I? Well, firstly, it's like a multitude of things, really. These videos take a little time to make. Now, I'm not telling you it's this freaking movie production or some kind of crazy, highly edited, affected type of deal, but you know, I gotta come up with the topic. I gotta do research and gather gameplay or sometimes do both of those things. I have to write the script, which can be difficult. I have to record, I have to edit the record, I have to edit the video, and then I have to make the thumbnail. That's a lot of steps for one video. And that's why like this can never be a channel where it's, oh, here's a video today. I'll upload in two days or three days later. It's just not really feasible. Even if like I would dedicate <laughs> my free time in life to doing this, that would just be impossible. But, um. I definitely do agree that the uploads should be more frequent. I'm literally, I had seven uploads this year, seven uploads of real videos. And yeah, they should be more frequent. But one of the things that holds me back as well is uh, I lose motivation sometimes making these. It comes in spurts. And one of the reasons why I lose motivation, and I know some people don't like to hear this or they're like, oh, well, you should just do this exclusively for fun or whatever. And I, and I get that. But when I make something and like it doesn't perform well, that, that sucks. And it kind of kills me to work on stuff sometimes. And it puts me in like these little droughts where I don't feel like working on anything. So, for instance, let's go back to what, September, October. Uh, September, I start working on this video, Weird Golf Games. I'm buying the games, I'm playing them all, I'm writing the script. It's a lot of work going into these videos. Um, and then in early October comes around, UFC 5 comes out. And I want to cover UFC 5. It's a game that doesn't come out every year like every other sports game. It comes out every couple of years. Um, I'm a big MMA fan. I want to cover the game. So I stop what I, so I stop what I'm doing on that video and make a UFC 5 video and I had expectations for the UFC 5 video because you know it's a newer game a lot more people are searching it up they're gonna want to see hey how is this game just want to get info on it and it bombed <laughs> it bombed pretty badly I'd say I don't think I got any traction from anyone outside which is pretty rare because normally when I cover new games I get some kind of traction from it uh, when I did Riders Republic when I did AEW and when I covered the WWE 2k games 2k 22 and uh, kind of 23 uh, when I cover those new games I actually get some kind of traction like people searching it up and maybe it's getting in their suggestions a little bit but that one just died and then I finished up the, the video on the golf games and that one also did really bad as well so <clears throat> That's one of the things that leads to it. Um, I put in a, like a, lot, a ton of work on it and it's just, oh, well, your video is going to essentially die after like 800 to 900 views, let's say. It kind of kills the motivation a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you. You know what I mean? It kills the motivation a little bit, but uh, I'm not saying this is me giving up or anything far from it. I'm working on a video right now, but just know that when I hit these like little droughts, I what I'm what essentially is happening is that outside of something personal or whatever, I would rather put more time and energy into like playing a game casually or hanging out with friends or spending time with loved ones or 
spending time on other hobbies. <clears throat> Uh, because, yeah, I would like this channel to take off more than it already has. And uh, let me get this comment out of the way that somebody left. Where is it? Where is it? You're still small. Damn, bro. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm not going to lie. A lot of it is self-inflicted. Like I said, I don't play the metagame that well. I think I said that last year. But yeah, that's what it is right now. Uh, I would like to pick it up more. Those of you that were here in 2021... You, you've probably seen a lot more in terms of output from me. And I was putting out something like every 10 days to 14 days. Because I was in the middle of the pandemic. I wasn't working. I couldn't go out and see anyone. I couldn't go out and do anything. I didn't have any other hobbies. So if a video did flop, I really didn't have any other choice to do anything else. So I just say, hey, I might as well go for another video. Uh, now that everything's opened back up and now that everything's seemingly back to normal, I spend my time sometimes doing other stuff. <clears throat> of course, I could get the motivation if one of these videos takes off, but it's yet to happen. Hopefully this next one does. All right. Next question. I have no idea how this audio sounds, by the way. Normally what I do, because it sounds echoey as I'm talking. Normally what I do is uh, for my videos, I take my laptop and my microphone and I bring that shit to the fucking closet. Uh, but I'm not going to record this <laughs> in the closet. It's going to look like the intro of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Because <laughs> you're not even going to be able to see anything. Um, anyway, next question. Will you cover more obscure sports games for rugby, AFL, handball? I don't even know there were handball games. Cricket, lacrosse, and such. Uh, kinda. So what the deal is with these videos that I make is that I try and stay in my ballpark. My ballpark being baseball, basketball, football, combat sports, pro wrestling, and extreme sports. I try not to stray too far away from that. Um, I could, I sometimes do branch off into different things. Like I said, I, I made the golf video and I don't watch golf at all. I know literally next to nothing about it, but I do like playing golf games and I'm pretty knowledgeable on golf games. So that's why I made the video stuff like this stuff. That's ah, rugby. I know nothing about AFL. I know nothing about handball. Nothing. Cricket, nothing. Lacrosse, nothing. I know nothing about any of these sports. Um, am I saying that, oh, there'll never be these things in any one of my videos ever? No, not saying that, but uh, I know next to nothing about these things. And even if I would play, let's say, a rugby game, I don't know how rugby works. So in addition to playing the game, I would have to do some type of research on how to even score. Cause I remember um, I played a demo of one of these rugby games. I don't remember what year it was or what particular game it was, but we, when I got the ball, I ran it into the end zone. I don't know what it's called in rugby. I ran it into the goal and nothing happened like i didn't score any points i thought maybe i had to kick it through that little upright i don't know once again this is stuff i have to do research for but uh i'm not ruling this stuff out it's just out of my area of expertise i guess are you continuing are you continuing the ea sports big series or is that done for now uh it's on hiatus if i get i, I got a couple people asking actually but since there is interest, uh, I'll consider doing one relatively soon. The next one I was going to do was the FIFA series, which is what I think four games, four games, I think. Yeah. So if I were to get, if I were to make a video, it would be those, or maybe I'll do something smaller to kind of test the waters to see how a video does. But yeah, the reason why the videos, uh, for EA sports big have been on hold is because they're normally the worst performing videos on the channel, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, NBA Street Volume 1 did nothing. NFL Street Volume 1 did nothing. Um, what was the other one? Def Jam Vendetta 
nothing, which is surprising because that's a wrestling game too. Normally wrestling games do pretty well on my channel. Um, and SSX, when it came out initially, did pretty bad. But over the over the years and months, it's actually caught up and done pretty well. Uh, I guess it's one of those things that was a late bloomer or people are searching up SSX review and just so happened to come up on my video. Uh, but yeah, that one's got ov up over like, what, 12 or 13,000 views now. But for the most part, these ones kind of die out. These EA Sports big ones, they normally do the worst, so that's why they've been on hiatus. I'll put up a poll, actually, in the coming months to see. This is the gauge interests. Like, which ones would you guys want to see type of deal? Uh, next question. I love your videos. Thank you so much. Hey, what are the beats sports games for every game like NBA, NHL, THPS? Love your videos. Thank you. Don't take offense, but I'm going to try and translate this. I think what he's trying to say is that what sport which game from each particular sport is the best? Am I getting that right? I think that's what he means. Uh, NBA, I'd say either NBA 2K11 or NBA Street Volume 2. Uh, NHL, I have no opinion on majority of NHL games. If you're putting a gun to my head and make me pick one, I'll say <laughs> NHL Rock the Rink on PS1. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, uh, this is probably unpopular, but I like the old Tony Hawk games. One and two. I gotta look at the camera. Uh, I like Tony Hawk one, two, three, four. Uh, Underground is good, but I wasn't a big fan of it compared to the older games anyway. And Underground 2 is just weird. It's like this weird jackass kind of game. I'm not a fan of it. Um, so I'd go with the original Tony Hawks. Uh, baseball, I'd say MVP 2005, of course. Football, I go with Madden 06, not not NFL 2K5. Madden 06 on PS2, not a uh, Madden, not a uh, NFL 2K5. Um, what else? What else? What else? Combat sports, I'd say Fight Night Round Three. I have a soft spot for that one, especially excuse me, especially on a PS3 where you can box in first person mode. Um. Oh, and uh, pro wrestling, I'd say No Mercy. Yeah. Next question, what's your favorite console generation? Um, PS2 era. I feel like each one is getting progressively worse, and I don't know, you can call me like a, an old person or I'm stuck in nostalgia or whatever, and that's fine, but I just feel like a lot of them are getting worse. I mean, PS2 had so many iconic, <laughs> so many icon the PS2 era had so many iconic and memorable franchises and top tier games. The, the era after that, the PS3 360 era was actually a kind of underrated era. That one often gets forgotten about because uh, those consoles didn't sell all that well in the grand scheme of things, but the PS3 360 era was underrated, at least like the first half or like 75% of it. Because you had games, but then they, they went at the end, they kind of went towards the dark side with a lot of these modern bullshit trends. Like, oh, remember you guys remember those freaking, um, what were they called? The things that prevented you from playing online if you bought a used game. I forgot what the hell they're called. Online game passes. Remember that shit? If you would buy a game, you would have to enter in this code to play online. And if somebody already entered it, you can't play online and you would have to buy like a pass separately. That's crazy that that was ever even a thing, but it was these things that companies were trying to do to take advantage of uh, consumers. Same thing with um, microtransactions. Same thing with microtransactions and all these type of things. This started in that PS3 360 era towards the end. Madden Ultimate Team, all those type of game modes. Um, 
and even stuff like on disc DLC where the where the DLC was already in the game they you just had to unlock it um, or they release it later and be like oh look at this DLC we made even though the game was already done um, over an over reliance on like patches and day one fixes games are always coming incomplete and people have gotten desensitized towards this sort of thing when a game releases broken and there's many glitches you don't see for the most part people saying like oh man this is unacceptable you're just you just hear like oh man they're gonna come out with an update what are you complaining for don't you have any patience even though i already bought the fucking game <laughs> i bought it day one or maybe i spent an extra 20 or 30 or 40 dollars to get it like a week early and the game doesn't even work like this guy like oh ufc 5 is going to add all these fighters why are you complaining because i bought the game at launch what do you mean why am i complaining <laughs> this should have fighters <laughs> I, I don't know but anyway on with the question ps4 generation i feel like that's when we really started to go downhill and also we just lack iconic new franchise like look at the ps3 360 era Uncharted, The Last of Us, Dead Space, Mass Effect, Bioshock, Gears of War, and that's just off the top of my head. I could probably name more if I had to sit down and think about it. What does like the, the PS4 Xbox One era have? Like Destiny <laughs> Watch Dogs? <laughs> I'm sure like okay, God of War and Spider-Man, but those are already existing IPs. It's not really anything new, a new franchise. And that's a thing going into this new generation. We rely so much on remasters and remakes. Uh, it's the ninth right now at the time of this recording. The Last of Us 2 Remastered, a game that's not even four years old yet, is getting a fucking remaster <laughs> in 10 days. Why? <laughs> I, I just don't understand. You got games like Dead Space being remade, which didn't need to be remade. And the game still looks great and still keeps its horror atmosphere. Um, <clears throat> don't get me wrong, some remakes are good. Uh, Activision was doing a good job. They remade the Crash games, Spyro, Tony Hawk. Uh, it sucks that they're not doing the, the Tony Hawk 3 and 4, but whatever. Um, but for the most part, did Resident Evil 4 need a remake? Did The Last of Us 1 need a remaster or a remake, whatever the hell they call it? Because the terminology is so... <laughs> so specific, I guess. Do any, of these, do any of these games need these type of remakes? It just seems to me as trying to cash in on nostalgia because you can't come up with your own ideas and your own intellectual property. So you have to come out with freaking all these games that don't really need a remake because why would ea make a whole new horror game or a whole new game when they can just say oh let's reel in those old dead space players we already have worst case scenario a million copies sold because you already know th this game's gonna sell people love dead space dead space has this niche circle of fans that are gonna buy the game no matter what and they're craving for a new game so we'll have that on top of a lot of new people, hopefully, as well. That's their thought process. And, you know, kudos. I'm not blaming these companies for doing what sells, but I'm strictly from, like, my perspective and a consumer standpoint, it's getting worse and worse as we go along. So I'm not really impressed with this PS5, Xbox Series X, whatever the fuck that console's called, generation either. I mean, PlayStation has... What did they release? One game last year? Or I don't know when God of War came out, I forgot. But it just had Spider-Man. Remember in PS3 era where we get hit with Infamous, Uncharted, and like a ton of other low level, not low level, that's the wrong term, but a ton of other lower, lower height games that were under the radar. And now we just get one game a year, maybe two. Have you played Garu Den Break Blow Fist or Twist or K1 World Grand Prix on a PS2? Um, I know of the K1 game. I'm very familiar with that. Uh, that other one though, Garu Den Break Blow Fist or Twist, I'm not familiar with. Uh, I looked it up preemptively before I started recording. Um, it looks interesting. 
more so a fighting game, but I, I've never played or have heard of it before. Uh, this question, but the K1 game is on my radar. That's definitely on my radar. Uh, you should rank all Madden games that you've played. I thought about this because a lot of people suggest I do some type of similar thing like I did with my ranking wrestling game video. But the thing is, it wouldn't be a very interesting video because so many of these games are so similar. Especially those like mid-2010 Maddens. Like what the hell am I going to say about Madden 16 and 17 and 18? <laughs> I wouldn't really have much to add and, and it would make for a very, 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 very repetitive video. Um, not to mention I didn't play all those ones. I stopped for a certain time because Madden was so similar. Uh, I've only gotten back into Madden somewhat this year. I played a little bit of it. Um, and it's fine. It's not as bad as, you know, like a lot of the YouTubers make it out to be like it's fucking the worst game ever that you can't even pick up and play. It's an alright game. It should be better than alright, but it's an alright game. Um, but as far as like a ranking and Madden, I do have an idea. I wanted to rank the new features of each Madden game, starting back from like the PS2 era. So what is that? 2001? Madden 01, I think? Or Madden 2000? And I wanted to rank them so like... When Madden 05 comes up, I'll talk about the hit stick. And when Madden 06 comes out, I'll talk about the truck stick. Stuff like that. But uh, ranking every game, I'm probably not going to do. Same thing with like NBA and MLB. And it would just be maybe I could do it for Tony Hawk, but it would just be a lot of the same type of comments over and over and over again without much elaboration. Uh, the thing with wrestling games is that a lot of them are different. It's only somewhat recently that they started to fall into this wall of being very similar. Oh, have you considered doing a video about other games, not sports related? I know you're called Game Day, but I feel like you could talk about any game or thing and make it funny or interesting. Keep up the good content. Thank you. Um, not really. <clears throat> so the reason why I did this whole Game Day thing on sports and everything and not any other gaming type of genre is because sports even right now, as I speak, even with me in it, it's such an untapped market as far as like YouTube is concerned. There's like so many of these games that have so many stories and just no one talks about them. It's barely like they exist outside of like a couple of thousand of people that are like, oh, hey, remember Facebreaker or remember Supremacy MMA? Remember that real steel game? Besides that, these, these these type of games have no fanfare on YouTube, no fan bases, no anything. And sports, even in general, sports games, even in general, don't really have anything like that. Even when it comes to like a Madden or a UFC or NBA, like, yeah, th they have videos about them. But a lot of it is the modernized. Uh, I'll pick my words carefully here the modernized YouTube type of thing where it's like, oh man, look at me opening this fucking card pack and oh my God, Barry Sanders 99 overall. Oh my God. <laughs> that That's all I see. Whatever Madden comes on my recommendeds, that's all I see. And if it's not that, it's one of those like challenge videos like, oh, can I beat Madden with an overall one team? You know, There's an untapped potential there. And there's a lot of stuff you could do with this niche. That's why I chose it. And that's why I try kind of try and stay away from stuff that's been covered already. Um, like, like I know some people like, oh, review SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. Everybody's already done that. <laughs> what can I say about SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 that hasn't been said 87 times? That's why I kind of stay away from that. I, at one point, I did I did consider reviewing like a lot of the SmackDown vs. Raw games, but it's just been done already. <laughs> like I even bought some of them in preparation for a review, but I'm just like just doing everything that everyone else is doing. It's really no different. Um, as far as have I ever wanted to do videos on other games outside of sports, not really. Um, maybe one day, but. Not really. The only time I ever wanted to make a video is when Last of Us 2 came out and everyone was just dogpiling on the game. 
And if you think the story is bad, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I wasn't arguing for the story. I was arguing for the gameplay and the great gameplay strides they made for The Last of Us 2. Naughty Dog did a very good job. And I feel like they, because everyone hated all the controversy surrounding the story or whatever, they kind of took it out on the game overall. And I feel like The Last of Us 2 made some strides. So if I wanted to make a video on that, I talk about how uh, overlooked the gameplay was, at least back then. Now people kind of give it its praise. You can look up many Last of Us 2 gameplay videos and see like the depth of the gameplay. But next question. What are some of your favorite racing games? Will you cover any of them in the future? Uh, I'm not a big racing guy, especially when it comes to like simulation racing. If you throw like Gran Turismo or like Forza in front of me on the table, I'd use it as a coaster. It's really, really, really un un uninteresting to me. Also the fact that I'm not a car guy in real life, so I don't even have that going for me. Um, But I have played racing games before. Uh, I really love the Burnout series. The Burnout series is really fun. Um, and obviously not counting stuff like Mario Kart or Crash Team Racing or the Sega All-Star, th those type of games I like a lot. But uh, you know what I, you know what game I really liked and uh, and it's on my project list to do it someday? Uh, Split Second. Split Second and Blur. I don't like Blur that much, but it's on my project list. And I am considering doing it someday. It's blur especially, because that can you can get YouTube. It's more algorithm friendly, because the way how I would approach it is like that game that tried to shit on Mario Kart. Because Blur, look up Blur's commercial on YouTube. They had like this whole parody of Mario Kart, and they were like, oh, we're kids. And they're like, oh, go play a real game. Blur available in stores now. It's like, bro, you're racing cars. It's not that serious. <laughs> but anyway, uh, what's your favorite sports game to play on PS3? Uh, very oddly specific. PS3, huh? PS3 was like the last of the experimental sports games. You're not going to get a game like Real Steel today. You're not going to get a game like Supremacy MMA today. You're not gonna get a game like um, NFL Tour today. It was the last of the experimental genre. And maybe I guess you could say that's a good thing because none of those games are really all that great that I just named, but. Um, if you make me pick one with a gun to my head, I'll say Backbreaker. I have a lot of, Backbreaker football, I have a lot of nostalgia fondness for the game and Around the time the game was being released, I was a pretty big fanboy for it. Um, and then when I came to my senses and realized it's pretty mediocre, I was a little bit disappointed. Well, I just want to say thank you guys for tuning into this end of year Q&A thing. Um, I do have videos planned. I'm in the process of making one right now. Uh, I have my project list and since I guess I'll just say what I'm making because this is going to get like, what, 500, 600 views. Um, I'm doing Madden long shot right now. The story mode for Madden 18, um, because once again, that's another thing that nobody has really talked about. And if you think about it, it's weird because it's like Madden made a movie in their fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. So I do plan on covering that. Then I want to cover the million dollar 2K challenge. Uh, that was a challenge where 2K Sports for their MLB 2K series would have like this million dollar challenge. Pitch a perfect game in MLB 2K and you get a million dollars. That's something I'm working on. The script is almost done for that one. Then after that, I don't have anything planned per se. Like I have a project list, but I don't I don't have anything planned. But uh, yeah, that was 2023 and that was the Q&A. Uh, I hope I can output more. I hope I can output more than seven videos in 2024. And overall, what do I think of my videos in 2023? Let's let's look at them. Seven videos. Where does it start? 
the worst NBA game ever, which was NBA Unrivaled, Real Steel, Michael Jordan, AW, Fight Night, UFC 5, and Golf. Seven videos that I am very, very, very happy with the quality of those videos. There's not one where I say, I, I think the audio in Fight Night Champions a little fucked up, but whatever. I, th I think uh, overall, I'm very happy with the quality of them. Genuinely thought a lot of these would do a lot better, especially the last two videos, USC 5 and Golf. <clears throat> Uh, Michael Jordan was another one I thought would do a little bit better because, you know, it has that celebrity attachment to it, like Michael Jordan. Oh, he has these games. Let me, let me check this guy's video out. Uh, didn't, didn't really work out. Um, the best performing video was Real Steel, which is kind of funny because I think that's one of the worst videos I put out this year. It's not a bad video by any means, but I feel like literally everything else I posted was better. But hopefully I can at least get into double digits next, uh, this year. So what is that video every like month and a quarter? That's doable. That's very doable. Uh, but that was the 2024 Q&A. I hope you guys have a good one. I hope you already had a good year and peace out. Sorry, my man, I almost forgot to answer your question. Favorite SSX character. Uh, DJ Atomica, and if I can't say DJ Atomica, I'll say Mario, and if I can't say Mario, I'll say Eddie Wachowski, because he looks like Sean O'Malley. Alright, peace.